doing? I'm showing them the pros and cons of a step deck. That is not a pro. Some of the pros to a step deck. The pro about a step deck really is is that it sits low to the ground. It's about three feet off the ground, whereas a regular uh, flatbed deck is about five feet off the ground. What people really don't like about a step deck is where the wenches are and how to use the wenches. The problem is you don't necessarily have enough for the top and you might have too many for the bottom, but then you have ones in places that you can't use them because they won't go far enough forward or backwards. That becomes a problem with it, with a step down. On the top here, you only have four wenches, two on each side. One here, so the length of this rail here. They're not gonna go down here. So you have another five, total of 10 on each side from here all the way to that first axle, right here. So you got five of them on there, right through there. But if you've got a product that goes past it, you can, you've got this one here and you got another one on the other side, but it only goes to that spot right here. That's as far as it goes. That's as far as it goes. So you have only got can only put it here or here. So the other wench on the other side, you're gonna hook here and throw over there type of situation, right? So let's say you have a product that comes all the way to right here. Well, this wench right here is fixed. It's not moving. You can't put it over here. And there's nothing over on that side. So what you end up having to do is put a uh, ratcheter here and ratchet it. And this one becomes useless to you. And this one down here also, that's as far as it goes. So you've got one, two, three places that you can put it. And that's it. So if you don't have any product back here, no problem. But you can't use it down there if you need it. And this one can't move, so you can't move it here. Now. What I have done in the past is I'll take my ratcheter and I'll hook it right here and throw it over the product and use this as a spot. But you have to think about how you're gonna put your ratchets when you have product at the end of the trailer. And the front up here, piece of cake, no problem. No problem. On the front up there on the top of the deck, you've got four ratcheters, so you might need five rat straps so you're gonna to have to use one of your free ratchets. You only have two. So if you need one down here and one up there, okay, great. So if you need two down here or two up there and one down here, what are you gonna do? Probably gonna throw a two inch strap now, right? So you have to think about it. That's why people don't like the step deck. But it rides much better than a regular deck. The way you move that axle, so this axle always stays right here. This axle right here will move to there, right there. And the way you move it is come down here to this box. Open the box, open the box. And there should be a little, little turn knob. There's not, somebody broke it off, but it still works. And what you want to do is you overinflate the airbags. There you go. And once you overinflate the airbags, then you come back here and there's a knob right there. See these pins right here? There's two of them, four on two for each side, four of them. So if you pull this, of course it's not gonna do it right now. 
But what happens is you release the air in there and that thing will go whoosh, boom, and it'll slide in there. But it's probably hung up, not a big deal. Usually if you rock the truck a little bit, it'll go in, so not a big deal. So once those pins go on, this axle is now free to do whatever it wants to do. So we need to move this axle to this location here what we're going to do is get in the truck and we're going to put the truck in reverse and the trailer and everything's going to go that way. That axle is going to stay right there. So basically, this trailer is going to meet up with this axle right here. And once it's all done, you do the reverse. Push that pin, push, push that up, that valve, then goes back down, you're good to go. All right, why, why do you need to move the axles? Well, in the state of California and Florida, that axle back here at the back is illegal. It's got to go to the front. And when you do that, it lowers the amount of weight you can have on your trailer. Remember in one of my videos I was talking, you can have 20,000 pounds on the front axle and 20,000 on the back axle, which is a total of 40,000 pounds. But when they're together, it's just like any other trailer, it becomes 34,000 pounds max. On the back end this step this step right here if you have product up here and it's got to be tarped and you got product here and the tarp goes through well you how do you fix this right so you've got to play with this corner to get your tarp to fold down and go like that right so you, you got to play with it to get the tarp to go down and around the corner like that and it takes extra extra bungees and stuff like that just an extra little time and patience but another little trick I've done in the past is this. If you gotta tarp the whole product, what you want is you, you get them to put the product about, start the product here. Don't have it butted up against here, have it here. And you got product up here, right? So instead of trying to get this tarp to match that tarp, or this tarp to go around like that, I usually take my black tarp and tarp this, just tarp it. And then I get my blue tarp, and I, it I have the drop panel right here, so I don't have to worry about doing anything. I just have the panel drop in, right? And then I tarp it all the way. And if I can get away with just putting my other black tarp on the back end of it, then that's what I do. But usually you have to put both blue tarps on the load out here. But that's, that's a kind of a way to get around that deck right there. But sometimes it's not possible. Some companies that have, um, like a lot of machinery, let's say, can be t really tall, right? Big, big uh, tractors or things like that. John Deere, Caterpillar stuff can be really tall. Well, they like the step deck. And the reason why is because this to there is only three feet. Where on a deck, it's five feet. So there's two feet here to make it legal so they don't need a permit for an oversized load, right? Because we're only allowed like this trailer right here, this trailer and that trailer, that's uh, 13 feet. From the ground up is 13.6. So all of these, all of these trailers and stuff are legal at 13.6. So when we're a flatbed, you know, you think you could just pile it up to the sky, no big deal, right? Well, no, we still have to be 13.6 as well. If it's over, if it's taller, it's a, it's got to be a permitted load. So. You get a company like John Deere or Caterpillar or whatever, and they got a piece of equipment, and it's tall, and it would be too tall on a deck. The two feet is a big deal for them. So that so sometimes you end up at a Caterpillar place and picking up stuff, and then what becomes problem for you as a driver is is that you become top heavy, so you have to pay attention to that load, just like any other load. You just have to pay attention to it, right? But. They're, they're really nice. They're really nice to run. Um, but yeah, I like them. I like, 